So happy reinstatement day, everybody. Because today was the day, we were told, Donald Trump would be reinstated as president of the United States. I'm actually right outside of Washington, D.C., so let's have a look at the National Mall and see what kind of crowds have assembled to celebrate Donald Trump's reinstatement as president. Hmm, that's uh, it's not much of a crowd. Sort of looks similar to his crowd uh, at his actual inauguration. Okay, let's turn to the serious now and talk about what Acting Attorney General Rosen told senators about Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the election results. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So with former Acting Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen's testimony to the Senate Judiciary Committee, the evidence of Donald Trump's crimes continues to build. And we now know that Donald Trump relentlessly pressured Department of Justice officials to try to help him corruptly overturn the election results. Here's a reporting from the Washington Post. Headline, What Rosen Told U.S. Senators. Trump applied persistent pressure to get justice to discredit election. And that article begins, President Donald Trump's last acting attorney general has told U.S. Senators his boss was persistent in trying to pressure the Justice Department to discredit the results of the 2020 election. So when we look at just a few of the data points, when we look at the evidence that at some point we'll see the inside of a courtroom, we know that even before the election, Donald Trump was incessantly complaining that if I lose, the election will be rigged. He was softening the ground to do exactly what he ended up doing. We know that he told Georgia state election officials, just find me 11,780 votes so I can wrongfully be declared the winner in Georgia. And we now know that he also pressured Department of Justice officials to try to enlist them in his corrupt scheme to overturn the election results. And of course, when all else fails, we know he launched his angry mob on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th to stop the certification of Joe Biden's win. Does anybody think it's time to hold Donald Trump accountable? Does anybody think it's time to protect democracy? Does anybody think that by failing to hold Donald Trump accountable, It's a grave public safety concern. Does anybody think justice matters? Justice matters, friends. And friends, as always, thank you for tuning in to these daily Justice Matters videos. If you would like to more formally support our all-volunteer efforts, our mission, our content, please feel free to go over to patreon.com you can sign up to become a patron. And if you do, I will send you some Team Justice stickers and a personal handwritten note of thanks. As always, folks, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow.